Good morning. I'm gonna turn this down, it's loud. Good morning, it's just been a pretty low key morning. It's already, I think, almost like 11 o'clock and um, I was just picking up some toys. Just got myself ready, but we've just been hanging out. They've been playing. They actually slept until, let's see, 7.15 and 7.30. So that's why they didn't go for a nap until 10.30. But that's nice. If they can do that, then they could just do like a later nap. And maybe we can do one nap a day so that we have like the afternoon to play. So we'll see how that goes because I'm thinking they're going to sleep for two or three hours. Well, hopefully. And, uh... So I've just been putting away, I have like five hampers of laundry, and it's still not put away, I just have it like sorted in each room. So I still have to put it away, I still need to go through both their clothes, their dressers, um, like he's still got nine month stuff, which definitely doesn't fit him, and she's still got like six months and nine month stuff that doesn't fit anymore, so I need to go through their dressers, put their clothes away, so maybe I'll do that when, um, when Jeff is home. So that he can play with them in the playroom while I can focus and like get it done way faster instead of having them be counterproductive and pull everything that I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and hang out for a bit, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might switch up the toys again in the playroom. I don't know. Part of me feels like just hanging out. I just got out of the shower and I'm already hot. So we'll see, but. Um, I know we're going to go out later and do something Jeff, when Jeff gets home. I'm not sure if we're going to go to try this place out called Monkey Joe's that I really want to try. We were talking about doing it tomorrow, but it says that it's so busy to call ahead. So I thought maybe if we went on like a Friday, like late afternoon, early evening type thing, maybe they wouldn't be so busy. But it's just like this play place for kids 12 and under to play at, so I thought the kids might like that. And it's really cheap, it's like $5 to get in, and adults actually are free, which normally they charge mega bucks for adults, which is ridiculous, because it's not the adults that are playing. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna do something today, something fun. I just haven't figured out what. Jeff just got home, and we are headed to the Monkey Joe's place to check it out. It's close by where the Chuck E. Cheese is, so if it doesn't look like the kids can do a lot on it, or it's super busy, then we'll go ahead and just go to Chuck E. Cheese. But either way, we're out of the house. Babies are in their car seats. They've got toys, binkies, snacks, water, everything. I've loaded us up as if we're, like, gonna be gone for a million hours, but that's what you have to do extra outfits, make sure you have enough diapers, which by the way, I don't know if I have enough diapers. All right, I better check that. We're at Sam's Club now because we went to the Monkey Joe's place and it was disgusting and no, mm -mm. so uh, wasn't going to let them play in there, plus it wouldn't have been worth it. There wasn't even much for them to do, so we are at Sam's Club. going to pick up a couple things that are like wipes and stuff that and bulk is way cheaper. And then I think we're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese and let them do some rides Chuck since we still have some tokens. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. Cheese. Look at these huge stuffed animals. I know that's what I was saying. Isn't that rad? It's a little or step two roller coaster. Hi. Huh? I just think they'd push each other off and become a hazard. You like stuffed animals, don't you, buddy? We're at Chuck E. Cheese! Yay! Are you excited? Wanna go ride some rides? Come on, buddy! Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> Look at this big kid. Woohoo, buddy! Look, Bubba! So I just opened up the door to get this guy out. And check out this delicious mess. We went to the little Amish stand and got some more corn since they liked it. And they had free samples of like yogurt covered pretzels. And daddy decided to, or chocolate maybe, <laughs> to give each of the babies one. And she ended up drooling <laughs> all over her and him and spitting it everywhere because she was sucking it off the pretzel. And then this guy apparently decided to do the same thing. So he is a sticky mess. But they took a nice little nap on the way home. And uh, now we're going to get everything in and um, do some dinner for them.
So we went to Babies R Us and we had a return and then we also got some birthday money today for the babies from my sister. So we got these cool Melissa and Doug puzzles. This one is like a fishing one with magnets so they can play and Eamon has two poles which I liked. And then this one's the knob puzzle. They were buy one get one half and uh, yeah so are you excited? Don't eat the sticker. Oh yes. So I think that'll be cool for them to start, you know, using their motor skills with that and learning how to do puzzles. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good gift, huh? Really hurt. Hey, bub. Look at it. Hello, Susie. You missed your daddy. Hey, bubba, go. Wow. 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 <laughs> bub, go. Bob, do it. <laughs> Bobby, go. And <laughs> Sissy <laughs> said no. <laughs> no. No. You're a dancing machine, buddy. Daddy's not a butt sniffer. <laughs> Why is he bro? We got some yummy Hershey's ice cream at the little Amish stand, so I thought I'd let the babies try some. You want some nom noms? It's cold. Is that good? Mmm. Is that num num? You wanna try a bite, Bubby? Bub? Tristan? Wanna try num nums? Nope, in your mouth. Is that cold? That's cold. But do uh doink doink shuffle de da, but do da chatter nigga piggy piggy piggly dee. Makes no sense. Did you ever see noses so wonderfully round? Where else could these curly tails be found? From the spring of our tail to our snuffling snout, our plumpness is pleasing, there isn't a doubt. And look at these ears so floppy and fine. You have to admit it, we're fabulous swine. We're all perfect piggies and we know what we need. It's really very simple, very simple indeed. Good night guys, see you in the morning. Bye.